Welcome, and follow me as a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and today I'll show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started, let's pull down our notifications straight from the top, just to swipe down. Do that once more and this will extend the list of toggles we have access to by default. Now one of the toggles will be screen recorder for me, it's right here the last one, but if you can't see it, there's a chance that it's on the second page. Or if you can't see it on the second page, you can tap on the plus button and this will show you the toggles that are turned off and you can just add them by dragging them down. But like I said, mine is right over here. So once you find your toggle, first time around I recommend holding it. This will take you to the settings where you can customize how it's set by default. So quickly going over the settings right here, we have show toolbar after capture. Um, so this is just for a screenshot, so I'm gonna actually ignore this. Going down, we have a screen recorder, so we have sound, media, none or media and mic. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna stick with the media, which will be include uh, recording sound of the device itself and not me. Then we have video quality. It's set to the highest one, which is 1080p. Uh, now, I am uncertain if this will change if I set it to 1440p, so I'm gonna actually quickly check it out. So if I go into settings right here, change it to be 1440p, let's apply it. So it doesn't change anything. So even if you're running it at 1440p, uh, your screen, it will still record the video at max resolution of 1080p, which is a little bit of a shame considering this is a flagship device. Now moving down, we have a selfie video size. So this is an actual size that you will see on the screen once you toggle it on. And what it refers to is a front facing camera uh, that will be toggled on, assuming you want to toggle it on. Uh, so it will just be visible on the screen recording in this little circle what the camera sees. Obviously you can make it bigger or smaller. Just gonna make it super large. And then we have show tops and touches. Uh, this will imitate where you were pressing on the display. It will be visible as a semi-transparent gray dot on the screen recording. And then save screen recordings and you can just save, uh, select where it's being saved. Now from here, we can just close this. We don't have to ever come back here again, assuming you don't want to change any of the settings. And whenever you want to record it, simply press on the record button. This will give you again option for the uh, sounds. So we have non-media and mic again. I'm gonna still stick with the media. And you have also the toggle for uh, show tops and touches, which I will turn on just so you can see how that looks like on a screen recording, or obviously on the recording itself. And we can select start recording, it starts the countdown, we can skip it. And right now it is recording. I'm gonna quickly just go over a couple options. We have the pencil, which allows you to draw. You can also do that with a pen. There we go. Can select whatever that is. Oh, it's a pointer. We have the front-facing camera. Then we have a pause option, so you can pause the recording. Uh, I don't know, maybe open some kind of app like... Let's see. There we go. Now if I resume recording right now, it will just pick up like no time has passed. So there we go. And obviously stop a button, which is the square. Now, once you have saved the screen recording by stopping it, you can then find it in your Photos application. Oh, there we go, gallery.
there we go, that's basically the screen recording. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.